Hey all, hello and welcome, Tony Bing here. So we have another beginner's guide video and for this one we will be having a look at Scarlet Witch. Her skills really are over the top as you would expect for a hero with the power levels of her and she has a great enhanced costume that will show off in this video which has a nice side effect as well. We'll, we'll get to that later on in the video anyway but for this video we will have a look at her primary attributes, offensive and defensive traits, We'll check out a few of her costumes, have a look at her signature and ultimate, and then we'll finish up with some gameplay runs. But first off, let's look at her primary attributes and her traits. So we start off here by looking at the offensive trait, and that's Chaos Magic. With it, you gain a 3% critical hit chance. Arch type is Tactician, and that means your primary attributes are both energy and intelligence. Now, as much as we normally go for intelligence over other stats when we can because it has a crit damage rating multiplier energy actually works very good in scarlet witch because this will reduce your spirit costs and what that actually does for her is it reduces the cooldown on her signature so really i would go for a balanced approach for her attributes go for a nice mix of energy and intelligence rather than stacking one over the other for her defensive trait we have reality bending with this you have health on hit Arch type is tough, that gives us a bonus multiplier to both defense and deflect. And then we look at the resource, and this is chaos energy. So with this, you'll generate this while you're dealing chaos damage. When your chaos energy bar has been filled, you trigger chaos energy. Now when that triggers, what happens is it will actually start to run down and your skills will start to spend chaos energy but they'll gain modifiers and become a lot more powerful so this is nice, you build it up and then you just start firing all your skills off and your signature also charges this to 100% as well so you want to try and build it up manually when it's running down, hit the signature and just try and keep your chaos energy up as long as you can it's a nice interesting mechanic on her and I do find it a whole lot of fun so with that out of the way, let's now have a look at some of her costumes first costume here is our default then, and this is known as the classic costume and it does look really quite nice since it's visual update. And then we have the Wiccan costume, and there's a reason the name shows in blue rather than the rest of the writing that's been in red, but you'll see that later on in the video and it's pretty awesome. Finishing up, we have the Civil War which is a relatively recent one, it really does look nice, I, I like the style of this one a lot. So with the costumes done, let's now have a look at the signature and ultimate. For the signature we have a skill called Unmake Reality and this really is pretty awesome. Now this will instantly destroy non-boss enemies up to elites so that's blue and yellow enemies it will actually just completely take out straight away which is amazing. It will stun bosses and it also does a mental damage dot for 3 seconds. Now it will also regenerate 100% of your chaos energy so once you've cast this you'll be getting a lot more damage afterwards because all your skills will be buffed and on top of that if you have spinet reduction affixes you can actually reduce the cooldown in this and you can reduce it away down to 20 seconds which can be really helpful due to the fact that you can just instantly destroy trash with it so I love this signature it really is fantastic but let's now have a look at the ultimate skill so for the ultimate we have a very iconic skill to Scarlet Witch, we have the No More skill and this is obviously a nod to the fact in the X-Men comics that infamous line, No More Mutants, she said. So with this, thankfully it doesn't remove all the X-Men from the game because that would be an awful skill. What it does, it's a mental damage dot, a large explosion and it gives you invulnerability for a rather nice 5.5 seconds and on top of that it will buff your damage over time powers and make it so they have no chaos energy cost and they deal extra damage and if that wasn't enough it will also buff your deflect chance as well so it really is pretty damn nice and the animations for it as you've seen there looked really nice as well so with that out of the way we'll now do some gameplay run throughs and the first set of skills we'll look at will be the chaos skills for this run through of the Shocker Terminal then we'll have a look at the Chaos skill she has. Now the main spender, we're firing that off at the moment, that is Chaotic Hex. Now with this, when you have full Chaos Energy, 
it will fire an additional 1 to 5 bolts there so you can really have a whole lot of them coming off and flying towards enemies. We then have beasts from beyond. With this it will hit 2 targets, it's an area of effect dot skill and enemies will take extra damage from chaos skills with it so you want to drop this before hitting off most of your rotation. We then have chaos rift, this is another dot and the chaos effect on this is that it has a 5% chance to instantly destroy mining enemies when cast so that's actually really pretty useful and it also has vulnerability as well. We then look at Hexphere, this will have charges and it's just like a, an explosive blast that you fire forward, it will stun the enemy and you can have up to 3 charges of it on a pretty low cooldown of 4 seconds so you can fire this off pretty often, there we go I'm firing it off right now anyway to show you and now we have Chaos Warp, you just seen that there and that's amazing looking so with Chaos Warp it's a mental damage dot, a slow, it restores health on hit and it also restores, it also re absorbs damage as well there so it really has a nice skill and covers most of the screen and it looks absolutely great. Final skill we look at will be Bouncing Hex, this is a nice good trash clearing skill and this will bounce between 3 and 6 enemies when you have full chaos energy there so the skills are really quite interesting, visually they look incredible but the fact that they're all modified and they have extra multipliers makes them even more fun. We'll fire them all off now. We started with the signature there. Then we've got Chaos Warp. Great for taking out trash and getting our health up. And then we'll fire off our remaining skills here. As you can see, visually she looks amazing, as she should. And there we go, done. So that really was pretty awesome. Now, with us showing off the Chaos skills, what we'll show off next are the Disruption skills. And what we'll do is we'll equip the Wiccan Enhanced costume and that changes how the skills actually look so this next section will be a whole lot of fun. And here we go for this final section then as mentioned we'll look at the disruption skills. Now the main spend that we're using that is Chaos Blast. Now with this the more disruption powers you use within the last 10 seconds the damage of this skill actually stacks up all the way to 40%. The Chaos Effect is that it has a chance to trigger Dark Hex, Iron Maiden or Reality Implosion, they're also all disruption skills. We then have Reality Implosion that we've just mentioned there. This is a weaken and the Chaos effect on this is, is a 25% chance for an enemy to explode after a short duration when you use it and you get a mental damage explosion there. We then have Iron Maiden. So with this, it's a mental damage dot when enemies actually try and attack you after you cast it on them. So that's really quite interesting, I like that. And also, with it, the chaos effect is it gives enemies a 5% chance to make them enraged. So they take more damage from Iron Maiden and they gain movement speed. So that's really quite a different skill there. I do like ones like that. The next skill we look at is Dark Hex. Now this will do mental damage, but it actually has three different chaos effects as well. So it's got a chance to cause a dot, it has a chance to make enemies take extra damage from chaos blast, and it also has a chance to reduce the cooldown of the actual skill as well. Now the next one we'll look at, we've then got ravenous binding, and this is pretty nice. It has a mental damage, it immobilizes enemy, it slows them, it regenerates health, and on top of that, the chaos effect is that it has a chance for enemies affected by it to spread the effect up to other nearby enemies when they're defeated so you can fire it off and it starts sapping around them so that's really quite nice. The final skill, if I can pronounce this correctly, is Obfuscation and this is a utility skill so it provides slow, unbreakable to yourself and allies and also the chaos effect is you have the 25% chance to deflect incoming projectiles as well so that's the skills all covered as mentioned, as you can see on Wiccan, they do look fantastic. I uh, do hope this Scarlet Witch Beginner's Guide video was useful, and I'll see you all again soon for another one of these videos.